friends. I, 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 I have just completely fallen off. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Um, welcome to March hair vlog. It's actually March 12th. I haven't done my hair this entire month. Um, actually I did. It was the end of my February vlog when I used the sacred. This is, this is the same hair. And y'all know that is not like me at all. So, um, I haven't been doing content. I haven't been doing my hair. I've just been living life. But I really just wanted to come on here and like show y'all that it's been at least 10 days since I washed my hair. I haven't put oil on my scalp. I I haven't done anything to my hair. Um, I guess I'm gonna use this scalp serum today. I don't really like it, but I need to get, I need to use it. It's the pattern, the scalp serum. Y'all know my favorite is the deep scalp detox, but I'm almost out of it. Um, and I'm trying to go through my stash, but am I supposed to shake this first? Hold on. Use section hair, apply scalp massaging for added relief. Mm, whatever, I'm just gonna use this and I'll rinse this out. Um, so what's been going on? So y'all know I did my hair in that braid out and it lasted really well. And then once I got tired of the braid out, I started putting my hair in a low bun, which is so unlike me. But I just didn't want to wash my hair. I needed to, but I just didn't feel like it. And I'm okay with that. My hair didn't feel dry. It still, like, isn't super dry. It still has movement to it. It's not stiff. I don't feel like any of my hair has broken off. I've been sleeping on a satin pillowcase. So I've been doing all of the things. It's just that I am so accustomed to doing so much to my hair all the time that when I take a week off or, you know, go 10 days without a wash day, I, I feel as if I'm neglecting my hair. So we're going to overcompensate during this wash day. Um, I have not done like a K18 Olaplex treatment on my hair in such an extremely long time. And even when I did use the do and their bonding complex that was january y'all it's the middle of march so i definitely want to do that this wash day um but in order for me to do any of my bonding treatments i shampoo my hair first i usually don't do like a deep deep shampoo but since i have layered on so many products i guess i might as well do a k18 treatment right because that way I can shampoo, shampoo my hair, and then go in with the K18. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I am going to kind of chat with you guys about my hair while I apply my deep conditioner. So, I did let the K18 sit for four minutes like you're supposed to do. I have my spray bottle right here. And I'm just going to dampen my hair again, which is totally okay to do after you let the product sit for four minutes um so yeah i'm probably gonna be heavy-handed that's probably way too much for this one section but it's already on my hands um so yeah about my hair um so i have been coloring my hair since it's 20 since 2021 i would say is when I went completely copper in one sitting. That was November of 2021. I'm just gonna put it back in these twists. And um, I had no idea how to take care of like completely colored hair. Like in the past, I had gotten my hair like highlights and things of that nature, but I had never like did a complete color change professionally on my hair. And honey, when I tell you, it was a completely different head of hair and it was quite the learning curve. So if you have been watching my channel since then, you have genuinely seen my hair like at its best because I feel like my hair was in its best 
state before I went completely copper. And if I can be completely honest, that's how it should be. Like, before you, I know it sounds backwards, but before you take on coloring your hair, I highly recommend that you have a really good hair routine. I recommend that you go ahead and incorporate um, bomb builders, you have protein treatments, like you are already really, 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 really satisfied with the condition of your hair before you color it because coloring your hair is going to damage your hair. Like it's literally altering your hair, right? And so since then, I've continued to color my hair and really the basis of my content has just been how to maintain my curls and coils and hair and still like color it and enjoy it and not feel like and not feel like coloring my hair was a bad decision i really don't see a lot of content creators that will bleach their hair and give you regular content like continue to give you hair videos every single week after bleaching their hair it's i haven't seen anyone do that in a really really long time um and so i kind of made it my mission to like share my journey and how i take care of my hair and what i do to my hair and yeah that's really been the underlying basis of my channel for the last two years and my hair is not perfect by any means but considering the things that I do to my hair on a regular basis, Fred looks good, okay? Fred looks good now. So if we go back to 2022, around this time, like March, April, my hair was in really bad shape. Like the color was fading. Um, I think that I didn't... I think I was doing too much to my hair at first and by the time I realized it a lot of the damage had been done I feel like my hair broke off in some places you could definitely see the difference between my colored hair and the hair that was growing out of my scalp it was a stark difference um, I often complained about um webbing of my hair and I just feel like I lost control <laughs> um for a while there and that's when I started like really making sure that um I was incorporating bond treatments and things into every single wash day almost like I went into full OD mode and honestly I think the thing that helped was getting a trim and also like just stripping the copper off of my hair and going more blonde like I was before I went to this color. It was around, and this is like a speedy, speedy version of the last two years, but it was June of 2022 so it wasn't even an entire year that my hair was copper and mind you in order to go copper we had to bleach my hair blonde because my hair is jet black so it was a major shock to my hair strands to go from jet black to blonde to put the copper on top of it like it was just such a process and um Thankfully, like, I didn't lose a lot of hair. I just noticed that my hair was, like, very frizzy. Um, of course, my hair loosened in the front. I just got really frustrated with my hair. My braid outs looked terrible. My wash and goes didn't look that bad, but they don't look as good. They didn't look as good as they do now. Um... And it was just an interesting period. But I will say that, like, I held on to the length of my hair. Like, <laughs> at no point did I have to, like, trim or cut off or 
like yeah do a big chop or anything in the last two years because i have been able to maintain the integrity of my hair for the most part and i'm really really super proud about that and i said all that to say because um i know like i use kind of expensive products and i understand that like everyone can't and by no means am i saying that you should uh use every single product that i recommend or do everything that i do to my hair but i make content and so um yes i am showing you like my wash and goes and braid outs and things like that but i also have to make sure that i'm really taking really good care of my hair so that's a lot of the reason why i use the products that i use because one i've seen that they work it has kept the hair on my head and i'm not saying that using like products that you can run out and buy at target or like less expensive products won't work on my hair i'm just scared to use them <laughs> that's just i'm just being completely honest like i have a few brands that i trust and believe and will incorporate into my routine and even then i'll be honest when i used um the do what did i use the do for when i did the wash and go using um the crazy sexy curl with the 808 gel i did not like the way my hair felt when i went to wash my hair like i just felt like i had to really take my time and really like clarify and get everything off of my hair my hair just felt so weird and i don't know what it was i'm i'm not a person that like reads the ingredient list like i should a lot of y'all are really good at that and y'all inform me about like ingredients that i should be looking for and i appreciate that i hope that y'all continue to do that y'all teach me things in the comments like all the time so like i appreciate it um and so yeah i don't really know what that is and so like i love to do products but it's not something that i can see myself using every single wash day because i just do not like the way my hair feels after using it. Editing fair in here. I just wanted to say that I think it was the crazy sexy curl curl mousse that I'm talking about. Not the do products in general. Just that mousse I felt like was really hard to remove from my hair. But anyways, back to my color hair journey and things like that. So um, even when I did use the do in January and I straightened my hair and I really did love those products, I am not a hair care professional. Um, some of my hair did get a little damaged and I didn't really make a big deal out of it. I will say like it's a little looser here in the front now. And you know, like over time, I'm hoping to regain some of that elasticity, but if I don't, it doesn't matter because you see this, like this is blonde, like it wants to be blonde. And that just goes to show you that this is the same hair that was on my head in 2021 when I did that major transformation the first time. Like we have to keep in mind how long a strand of hair stays on your head, right? So like these ends, like, yeah, they have a story to tell. That's why they look like this because they've been bleached four times in the last two years, at least four times. And so, yeah, four times in the last two years. And so I just think that that should be something that you keep in mind if you are someone who colors your hair. I know quite a few of you do. I put heat on my hair on a pretty regular basis, you know, uh, direct heat and indirect. And Fred is pretty much, Fred is 90% intact, honestly, probably 95. Like most of my hair is, most of my curl pattern has not been altered the elasticity is there i don't see a lot of breakage in the shower <laughs> like i'm not losing 
excessive amount of hair like my hair isn't snapping off but you can definitely tell like these ends are old like look at how thin that is and i'm okay with it and that's just um yeah that has just been my journey as far as coloring my hair and maintaining it and i think i'm doing a pretty darn good job at it um so yeah if anyone has any questions about how i maintain my hair i just wash it honestly i think like right now like i wash it once a week that's understood because i'm trying to focus on length retention um i'm deep conditioning i'm using my steamer more often i use products that i trust and i go see my stylist and i get my hair trimmed like i'm supposed to except for last year i only got two trims last year i like to go four months at most which is why I would like to go at the end of March. But I think I'm going to push it to April. But um, my stylist says I could go six months. But I just like getting rid of old ends. And usually, last year when I did go six months, I dusted my ends at home. So I, would, I did that like twice in the six months. But I ain't no stylish, you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, like, this was just in a twist. But yeah, like, this is a little looser than it used to be. And I did that last year, September of 2022, not even 2023. So things are going to happen, but I'm okay with it at this point because for the most part, my hair is pretty healthy. I will also say that I did cut down on heavy oils and butters. Like I'm not a no oils and butters type girl, but I do know that because I like putting direct heat on my hair, I had to limit the amount of oils and butters that I am putting on my hair because it's it literally cooks your hair when you have it on there. So that's why I clarify my hair as often as I do. That's why um, I wash my hair as often as I do because, you know, when I get the itch that I want to put heat on my hair, I like to make sure my hair has been washed at least twice in between using something that I feel is like a heavier product. Blow dry, not so much. Diffuser, not so much. But when I'm flat ironing my hair, I like my hair to be clean, clean, clean. I don't want nothing on it. I just want to make sure that it's very, very, very moisturized. So that was my TED Talk while I was deep conditioning my hair. Uh, I think I'm going to put my hair in a wash and go and use Ajwa's gel. So I'm going to do that in the shower. So um, I'll come back in a couple days or probably tomorrow and let you guys see the wash and go. But yeah, March 12th, March um, monthly hair vlog has started. Hey y'all, it's the next day. I just wanted to show y'all the results of my wash and go. I was a little nervous about it. Something was going on in this area, probably my application um and i did like this no part situation which i don't normally do but ajwa did it once again i am just loving being a wash and go queen like look at the definition no for real no tools no tools okay just the natural separation Oh, from doing my wash and goes in the shower. Okay, I'll check back in in a couple days. Hey friends, it's Sunday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Even though when you watch this, it'll clearly be April. But um, I just put my wash and go up in this puff last night. It still looks good, but I think I'm not gonna be home for a few days. So I just wanna do like a fresh wash and go. But I do feel like my ends are starting to be not the best. Um, March would be three months from my last trim, but I actually think I'm going to push it out till May because I want to refresh my color when I get a trim because look how it has grown out, y'all. This is how much my hair has grown in the last three months. Do you think I've retained that much length in the last three months? Absolutely not, but I'm going to blow my hair out, uh, probably next weekend. Um, and with that being said, y'all, I have bought this hair trimmer on TikTok shop. 
and I think I'm just gonna do a video like I never used it and since it's time for a trim we're just gonna experiment with it I usually don't do things that I feel like will ruin my hair because my hair is such an investment but <laughs> I'm actually trying this Am I curious? Just a little bit. Because my ends really aren't the best. And also with my ends not being the best, um, before I do this wash and go, I'm actually going to do an Olaplex treatment. You saw me do K18 for the last treatment, but this time I want to do Olaplex. I just want to do treatments as often as I can until I do go to the salon. Um, I kind of realized that these last couple months I kind of like didn't incorporate as many treatments as I would like to into my hair care routine. And so like now I feel like I want to step it up because I really do want to like retain the length and to see that my hair has grown out this much. Um, it's like, man, I just feel like I should be retaining a lot of that. And I mean, maybe I am because like. My hair is like almost, it's to my tattoo. Like with my head being straight, like it's to my tattoo and this isn't like straight, straight hair, but like with me looking straight on and not like pressing out my hair, just stretching it with my fingers. It's like to the bottom of my tattoo. So definitely I am retaining some length and I'm so excited about that. You know, that has been my focus since I colored my hair. I've really been focusing on not washing my hair as often. That's been great. And even though this is like a few days shy of a week, I'm okay with that because I just, you know, really want to look like a person if I'm not going to be at home. But um, I'm going to use the exact same products that Audrey Wash and Go really worked for me. Um, and I do want to use a leave in. And, you know, like typically I've been using like Curly Magic or the 808 gel when going in with the Miche. And not saying that my hair doesn't feel as moisturized. I just really want to keep my hair moisturized because I want to blow it out the next wash day. And let me tell you, my hair lasts longer when I blow it out where my hair has been properly moisturized. I just wanted to come on here and say that um, y'all have seen me do um, Olaplex treatments plenty of times before, but this is my before. Uh, I'm going to diffuse my hair, which maybe I'll kind of show y'all because I don't feel like sitting underneath my dryer today. Um, but I don't have all day, so let's get to it. And I'm going to actually do like a full length video, which you have already seen by now. So let me go ahead and set y'all up and I will see y'all in a little bit. Okay, we're approaching the end of March. And um, I did this rod set today using Gangsta Wrap from The Do. Now, I don't know what to do. Because I feel like I need to like redo some of it right like some of them look a little loose i definitely love like it's like this soft touchable hold or whatever but i would i honestly just want to re rod my hair is that too much am i being extra but like it's okay hear me out okay so i have a baby shower tomorrow i potentially have a birthday dinner tomorrow and then sunday is easter and i just i don't know should i just save it and redo a couple tomorrow night do i just pineapple it oh i am terrible in these situations i don't want to like cause any frizz i did a really good job with install though uh i definitely took my time did it in sections maybe i'll just do this they're so loose but i just need something i i have so many of these right let me let me find let me find them only god knows only god knows where where are they I don't know where they are so I have this bag that <laughs> I found that has a, quite a few in there I'm just really worried I guess you know what I've been an early riser 
So if it looks too bad in the morning, I can always just put a couple rods in, you know, sit underneath my dryer. The baby shower isn't until one. So I definitely will have some time, I guess, but I also kind of wanted to get my eyebrows done. But that is besides the point about this hair vlog. Um, Obviously, I did not have a chance to trim my ends or use that split end trimmer. I'm being so gentle. So, this is what we're looking like. I just randomly put my hair in these pineapples just to kind of protect it. Once I wash this makeup off, um, I'll put on a bonnet. But yeah, that is what we're looking like. March Madness is almost coming to an end. I just had to check in really quick. So I um, re-rotted my hair today. And I went in with Adjua's Curl Cream instead of using the mousse because I just felt like my hair was kind of dry. Y'all, look at this. I'm going to have to do a video. I am because I was not expecting like this and you know like i know that curl cream has some hold regardless of me having the um the gangster wrap underneath it but y'all oh my goodness yeah i just wanted to show y'all like as i take this down what it's looking like i cannot wait to see what it looks like when i start separating but yeah um i just had to show y'all this and I'll come back with the results before I leave the house. Hey y'all, I am running super late. Um, it's 11.20, I'm supposed to be meeting Michael at 11.30 to help with the baby shower prep. Okay, so it's April 4th and this is that same rod set. So I did that I redid it Saturday morning. So now it's Thursday. I haven't done anything to my hair other than slap a bonnet on it. I haven't oiled my scalp. I haven't done anything to my hair. And so um, we're going to end the March hair vlog here. But guess what I'm doing tonight? Y'all, I'm about to give myself a silk press. Just because like I just, I want my hair to be straight for a little while um it's cool right now like it's 60 degrees so like i just feel like i can get one more really good silk press in at home who am i kidding i silk press my hair whenever i feel like it but um yeah so we are going to end this vlog here we'll do a lift check and all that good stuff in the next month i don't really know what i did this month i apologize but thanks y'all i'll see y'all soon